Working at the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Northwestern University is a really great experience. There are so many research opportunities here for undergraduate students, for graduate students. My colleagues and I work on a variety of topics ranging all the way from the microscopically small elementary particles and all of that to the structure of the universe. We have a very dynamic department. It's also a department that's been growing a lot and evolving a lot. Uh, we've been engaging in lots and lots of new uh, research directions that we're very excited about. We have a great community with lots of students and lots of postdocs, so it leads to a very dynamic, very active place where lots of uh, uh, exciting things are happening all of the time, both in terms of research, but in terms of activities, in terms of seminars, in terms of teaching. We have a very uh, interdisciplinary community. So, so the physics and astronomy department has strong connections with a lot of the other sort of sister departments in the university, both in chemistry and mathematics, but also in, the, in engineering. We're very close and very well connected to two national labs. One of those is Argonne National Labs, and the other one is Fermilab, which is the largest uh, uh, particle physics lab in the country. And that allows us to closely collaborate and uh, participate in the discussions that are going on in the lab in a way that's quite unique. At Northwestern, one of the really unique parts of the department is a really strong focus on astrophysics, which is what I work on. And we have uh, research ranging from black holes to galaxies and trying to understand some of the most exotic uh, and interesting phenomena in the universe. One of the really exciting things we're working on right now is preparing for the fourth observing run of the LIGO, Virgo, and Kagra gravitational wave detectors. With these detectors, we're going to be able to detect gravitational waves, these little ripples in space-time, that are emitted from some of the most violent phenomena in the universe, like black holes and neutron stars colliding with each other at near the speed of light. I'm an observational extragalactic astronomer, and in particular, I'm interested in studying the history of galaxies as they were forming 10 billion years ago. And so I use some of the largest telescopes in the world, so the Keck telescopes on Mauna Kea in Hawaii, and also JWST, um, a million miles from Earth, to understand the chemical abundances of galaxies in the distant past. And this is a way of connecting different generations of galaxies throughout the 14 billion years of cosmic history and letting us understand, essentially, how different galaxies ended up the way that they are today. We have uh, a number of uh, projects in quantum information science in part thanks to a new DOE center called SQMS. Uh, one of my colleagues, for instance, works on uh, Josephson junctions. Those are the smallest building blocks and superconducting qubits. Uh, and he does very sensitive measurements that help us identify what the performance bottlenecks in these devices might be. And my own group does uh, a lot of theoretical research on superconducting qubits, modeling these devices, helping uh, make them more uh, robust uh, to, to all the noise and the decoherence that they experience. So I study complex systems and we can collaborate with many uh, research and students outside of the, our group and in different other departments and also in some other institutions which is uh, very beneficial for our research because our research is uh, interdisciplinary. I work on the ACME experiment, which is using a thorium oxide molecule to measure the electron-electric dipole moment. And we're in the process of building the third generation of that experiment. The previous two were at Harvard, and now the experiment's being housed here. So working towards that measurement and those exciting results. I translate uh, problems in gravity that are typically very challenging into simpler, easier problems in, uh, that have to do with nuclear physics. And this is awesome because you tend to keep all of the things that are observable, all of the things that you can measure, you keep them all very explicit and very clear. What I like most about studying at the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Northwestern University is the chance to collaborate with a lot of intelligent physicists who are motivated towards the same goal, as well as a lot of hands-on experience in the machine shop at Northwestern and getting a chance to really dive into complex problems and learn new things. Our department holds a lot of uh, seminars and colloquiums every week uh, that covers a lot of topics. And for example, we have the Hellborn seminar or lecture every year that we can get the chance to talk to a Nobel Prize winner and listen to their lectures. It helps our research a lot and broadens our horizon. What I love about being a postdoc at Northwestern is 
the interactions you can have with all the people, everyone is totally wonderful to work with. Uh, you also have complete freedom to do whatever you want. You can work with whoever you want, you can think about whatever you want, and you're, you're paid to go and travel, work with other people at other places, and yeah, it, the freedom you have is, is absolutely exceptional. We have great centers in our department. Uh, there's uh, Sierra, uh, an astrophysics center. There's uh, the Center for Fundamental Physics. Uh, there's also CAPS, that is the, uh, the center that I direct. Uh, and I think that we will grow in these areas, in astrophysics and in quantum information science and technology. And uh, there are a lot of young colleagues who are driving that research, and it's uh, really exciting.